This is the first uh, tutorial on uh, Gulf Strike. We're going to be looking at tactics before we uh, look at uh, operations so that you can uh, build up to the more complex parts of this uh, simulation. Uh, each hex is 28 kilometers across. Each turn is 48 hours. But because there are three combat phases, including two for the initiative player and one for the reaction player, you're looking at one combat every uh, 16 hours. So what we're going to do here is go through the uh, ground uh, combat uh, procedure. Uh, the first issue is to uh, look at the units. We have here a Soviet division with a strength of eight, attack strength of eight. We have a brigade of uh, engineers with an attack strength of two, supported by artillery. We have close, uh, two close support uh, squadrons, an MI-24 and a Sukhoi-24 fencer. And uh, we have uh, an Iranian uh, division of Basij militia defending in the city of Bandar Abbas. The Soviet uh, stack is in deliberate assault formation and here you can see the effect which is to multiply the strength by three and the uh, Iranian Basij division is in deliberate defense and they have a three column shift uh, that uh, benefits them. So the we start off by uh, multiplying the base strength. Um, the uh, Iranian division defending in Bandar Abbas because it's defending in a city and it's uh, leg mobile uh, infantry, uh, its strength is multiplied by 3, so we have a strength of 12. The Soviet strength is 8 plus 2 for a total of 10, multiplied by 3 because of the deliberate assault uh, formation. So we have a ratio of 30 to 12, which comes out to a ratio of uh, 2 to 1. Now we have to apply column shifts. Now we have a number of, of uh, column effects. The uh, first one is when an attacker attacks into a city, there is a plus 2 uh, column advantage. There is a um, plus three um, column shift in, in support of the Soviets because here they've got no, no band and the uh, Iranians have a band. And this indicates that the Iranian division is militia and the Soviet uh, mechanized uh, division is line. And so there's a three column shift that benefits uh, the Soviets. There's uh, chemical weapons being used at this time, uh, but we're assuming it's game turn six, which means the surprise effect is worn off and there's a one column advantage. And there's a plus two column advantage for the Soviets because they're making use of armored or mechanized and the Iranian defender has none. The Iranian gets a minus three column shift because they're defending uh, in a city. And that's a net column shift of plus five for the Soviets. So we would increase the column shift from two up five columns to three to one, four to one, five to one, six to one, to uh, seven to one. Now there are also die roll modifiers. We use a D10 in this game. Uh, we assume that the uh, Sukhoi Fencer and the Mi-24 each successfully conducted an airstrike on the Iranian uh, division, inflicting a total of uh, two hits, and which is uh, we can indicate with this marker here. And uh, for every uh, hit done as close air support. Um, not as just a, a normal bombardment strike, but as close air support. Uh, each hit uh, generates a plus two die roll modifier in support in uh, to the advantage of the attacker, and plus there's a plus two uh, die roll modifier uh, for artillery. So the Russians have a net die roll modifier of six. So if we were to uh, roll on the ground uh, resolution table, and here you can see the uh, different columns. And you can see the column uh, we're using here is the seven to one column over here. And let's assume that the Soviets rolled uh, a, a six. Six plus six is gonna create this result. Uh, the numbers on the left are the effects on the attacker. The number on the right is the number of hits on the defender. The defender receives a total of six hits. Um, and uh, uh, six hits will destroy that uh, division. An Iranian uh, militia division can absorb six hits where all other divisions can absorb uh, nine hits. Uh, these are the uh, effects that we just discussed in, in detail. This chart here is the formation effects table. Uh, the ones we were in interested in is the uh, deliberate assault and the deliberate defense. Here are the effects, the three time multiplier effect to the strength and the three column uh, benefit to the, uh, to the defender. And these are the supply costs. Now the Soviets were using uh, a division, um, and they they had an engineer um, uh, uh, unit as well as artillery. So they're paying 14 supply points, where uh, the Iranian defender was paying uh, six points, six six supply points. So it's a fairly uh, expensive operation. Um, this is the uh, troop quality uh, effects matrix. The attacker was a line unit, and the Iranian defender was a um, a militia unit, so there's a three column shift to the right which benefits the attacker. And here you can see the terrain effects chart. 
uh, of, of particular interest is the effect of a city. You can see here that infantry um, have their uh, defense multiplier multiplied by three. And um, uh, uh, yeah, so you can see these are other sort of uh, issues. Uh, in particular, this details the uh, attacker's advantage of using um, engineers. Thank you.